Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of this Club America career mode video. Today we have quite an interesting video to show you guys. We have a couple of new signings that are made and some pretty interesting gameplay that went on. So let's jump straight into this, uh, what I believe is our third match of the Liga MX season in the Apertura. And it is against Jaguares Chiapas, of course, recently relegated for the new season coming up ahead. But for now, we'll have to deal with them in the virtual life that is FIFA. So, there you guys can see, we're jumping off in the Estadio Azteca. I'm not really making any uh, changes to the squad as, you know, we did pretty well. And um, so, yeah, I like to keep it like that. Uh, there you guys can see, we actually are the best defensive team coming into this game. I've only conceded one goal, and that one goal was against Veracruz. So, if you guys did not see... Uh, the previous video, check it out, uh, you know, we had the likes of Giovinco, uh, you know, kind of just take off and really score his goal and try to cement himself in the team, and uh, now it's just about incorporating um, all these new players, um, actually, I lied, I, Silvio Romero is starting from the start, I just remembered that, so, uh, yeah, keep that in mind that he will be playing, there you guys can see right there, he takes his first shot of the match against his former club, and uh, fortunate for the defender, he was able to get there in time. But, uh, you know, this was a very interesting episode to record. Um, there was just uh, so much fluidity in this team that it was just, it was just so much fun to play with them. And, you know, and, and when you feel a team that is playing that good, things like this happen. The shot from Silvio Romero takes uh, a low drive beats the goalkeeper into the bottom corner of the net and it does mean we do they do get the one nil advantage in the opening minute of the halves and uh yeah we were i was actually buzzing this was actually amazing uh see where romero was starting to perform and this is something that um i believe many of you guys will have questions whether or not to keep the argentinian striker or maybe sell him on I, well, i'm not able to sell him on at this moment because he's in the game recently arrived to the team but you know maybe in the following season maybe we sell him and get someone younger someone better who knows but in the meantime the important thing is that he performs to maybe try to convince me and perform he has done so far so and uh this is another player that has been performing pretty well for me and this is william da silva as you guys can see right here chino romero is gonna square it down to Oribe Peralta to give us the second goal of the match our captain gets his goal i believe it's his second goal of the league so actually really really good like i said the team was working well some really good fluidity going down that pitch especially in a home crowd it was absolutely amazing but before previously i was trying to mention william da silva was another player that was really impressing me is a position that i was looking to fill maybe his exactly and the one next to him and so far he's performed really well so he's giving me no reason why to to switch it up so I'm pretty happy with that, and I was pretty happy with the way this game was going. I mean, goal after goal after goal. There you guys can see Miguel Samudio, another one of those players that maybe was on the brisk of, should I sell him, should I keep him? I know some of you guys said, one of you guys said actually, that I should sell him and get another preferably Mexican left back. Um, I'll be looking into Layun later on in the video, you guys will see. Um, but Samudio is a type of player that is impressing me in this game very, very good. I mean, he's running down the pitch. He's doing everything. He's going back and forth. He's he's very versatile in that sense. And you know what? I'm, I'm thinking of keeping him as far for this first season, of course. And then we'll see how things progress later on down the road. So, and uh, I've been liking the way this team has been playing so far. But if it's one thing that always is a must is defensive mistakes that kill you in the back especially if you're like me who don't really get the grasp of defending after playing this game for so long and you know it takes a deflection of course and and unfortunate for Marchesin who maybe could have probably stopped that but you know the deflection gives him no uh, does him no favor so in the end it was a 3-1 um uh victory I think it is this game's gonna end um, it was good for us in the sense that, you know, we keep on winning and we keep cementing that we can score a lot of goals, that we can play uh, very good football. And, you know, in the end, if if we can keep continuing that run of form, then it's, you know, absolutely amazing. And actually, I lied to you guys. There is one more goal I just remembered, and it wasn't there because obviously you guys see the defender did actually a really good job to uh, to, to block everything. But Hawaris kind of just stepped up their game and said, this second half, you know, we dominated the first and they were not going to have it anymore. We were going to get another opportunity here because they pushed up so high. All I had to do was squared. And then I wanted it. 
I wanted it to pass to Jovinko so badly. I don't know why. And it kind of cost me there, as you guys can see. Uh, Could have had that fourth goal. Unfortunately for us, that wasn't the case. And then right here, Hawadis had an off. Opportunity to put it in the back of the net, but March and seen the Argentinian goalkeeper did very well. Now, pay attention close to this. It is the 87th minute of the match, I believe. And Hawares, for some reason, decided to bring Moises Munoz out. And I just thought, you know what? Run it. Run it. Just run it. Chino, Romero, run. Forest, run. And they were really close to taking the ball off of me that I said, you know what? I'm this close. Might as well just tap it in. And it does. It means we get our fourth goal. Chino, Romero, starts his uh his first start of the league um in a very good fashion i mean a one uh a one assist and uh two goals so uh looking to take Oribe Peralta's spot as uh maybe the goal scorer of this team but uh yeah it uh it's gonna be pretty much the end of that and we do get all three points as you guys can see a 4-1 victory comfortable in front of our fans i think it's exactly what they were looking for and you know i'm liking the way this team is moving along i think with the uh, with the addition of one or two more players especially in that midfield i think we're definitely going to be a force to reckon with and i think that we're going to be fair very favorites to get the league title and then this last opportunity for Hawaii is to get another goal back. They don't do so. They were very close. But um, unfortunately for them, it does not go in the back of the net. And it does mean that we do end up getting all three points. So three games, three victories, no losses. We're still in victos. And it's exactly uh, what we were hoping for to begin with. And there you guys can see Silvio Romero getting... Um, the the man of the match award which he very much does uh, deserve you know two goals one assist who's gonna argue with that so you know the good news was that we won and the news and we got even better news we you know we got the likes of jesus molina to accept our contract and it does mean jesus molina will be coming from monterrey back to las aguilas del america after spending a quite a couple seasons gone he's coming back to the club that uh, really saw him grow and progress and the good news doesn't stop there LA Galaxy has accepted our bid for Giovanni Dos Santos now it's only a matter of fact of trying to agree with personal terms with the Mexican striker center forward excuse me 27 years old 80 rated I think he will absolutely tear this league up just the way he's been doing it in MLS and as you guys can see right here on my short list, I know a couple of you guys mentioned a couple of these players that I should be looking at too. Miguel Ayun will be uh, preferably one that I will be definitely looking maybe to bring in hopefully in the January season. Just the way with budget-wise, uh, you know, with the Giovanni Santos deal, it was it was quite a bit most of all of our cash. So uh, we're either going to have to sell a couple of players, for example, like uh, Oscar Jimenez, who uh, we're still trying to find him a home in uh, Bournemouth over there in England so if Bournemouth could take him and maybe we can tell a couple more players down along the road maybe we can definitely go in for the likes of Miguel Ayun or maybe one of those other players but in the meantime we're gonna stick with what is um with what is working with us Giovanni Santos unfortunately does say that he needs more wages that he's a top player yada 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 so then you know what as I said okay I'll offer you 10 more 10 grand more than what you're making and what you're asking excuse me and you'll be a crucial first team player your bonus plus goals you know all that good stuff hopefully he comes back and accepts and talking about accepting we're gonna accept the offer for Bournemouth just because you know we need that we need a little bit of more cash coming our way and you know what better way than you know sell the second string goalkeeper that you know really isn't gonna get that much game time with us. I think Machisin's definitely gonna be the goalkeeper for every uh, you know game. If it comes to the fact that he gets injured, then we'll probably look into the likes of um, Leonel Pineda or or I'm sorry, I don't I don't think it's Leonel Pineda in this game. Um, whoever it is, he will definitely take the spot for the meantime, and we're definitely gonna be looking at maybe um, using our canteras for that same reason. But um, before we can get ahead of ourselves, we got to play this game against Puebla. So we're away at Puebla. Um, you know, a team that many people would definitely consider as one of the weaker oppositions in the game and in real life. It's a team that can actually quite be very versatile. And if we do not, um, you know, approach this game in a matter where we, we, we don't... I guess I want to say we don't take them as seriously. It could come to hurt us. And I think that was the case. You know, 
I came into this game thinking, oh, it's just Puebla. We're definitely going to get the first goal and an easy victory. And there you guys can see right here. They actually do end up getting the first goal. It looks like it may be an own goal from Cesar Montes. But um, actually, the Puebla player actually got a last toe to it. And, um, you know, quite fortunate. I think Marchesin did very well, of course, to get that ball. He didn't parry it exactly in the direction that uh, he wanted to. But um, I think the defense should have also came to the rescue there. Um, you know, we weren't fast enough, we weren't uh, quick on our feet, and in the end, I think that just, uh, it just shows that, you know, we kind of weren't on, on it 100% coming into this game, and maybe it's a little bit distraction from the Giovanni Dos Santos deal, I don't know, but it was time for us to get back into this game, Giovinco trying to do what Giovinco does best, trickery down the wing, cut inside, and shoot in for goal, very close, but it wasn't a goal. And then we get another opportunity here. Aurelio Peralta squares it in, but again, it's a defense of Puebla that were really solid this game. They, they didn't really give us much of an opportunity in the first half. They controlled most of the midfield. And even when I did push it up with numbers, they seemed to have everything kind of, you know, back cemented, ready for us to really just kind of, you know, wait it out. So I knew coming up into the second half, we were definitely going to have to change stuff. Um... I didn't mention this, but Jesus Molina is actually playing his debut game. So, hold, um, sorry, I kind of just kind of skipped through that. But, uh, yeah, Jesus Molina was playing. Um, he felt a bit, uh, I don't know, a, a bit rough. I, I don't know. I wasn't really used to him playing. But, you know, he got himself a nice little pass right here going off to Chino Romero. And Chino Romero, I don't know how that goes through the goalkeeper's legs. But it goes through, and it does mean that we do get the goal. That means we do get the tie. And, you know, I guess sometimes you're just a little bit of fortune to go your way. And in doing so, we do end up, um, you know, getting ourselves back into the game. So now it's 1-1. One, one. It's all all it's all for all. And I think this is exactly what I was looking for. And I knew once I was able to get that first goal, the second one would not take that long to take. I mean, you know, like I said, well, it's a good team. But like for like, man for man, we are definitely the much better opposition. So it was something that I needed to show. And there you guys can see right there. What a great slide tackle. Jesus Molina is then going to look for, I think it's Chino Romero. Yes, Chino Romero is going to get into the box. He's going to shield it. Defender is going to slide in. We're gonna, They're going to give a premature penalty away. And it does mean that now we're going to get an opportunity to score that second goal I was talking about. Oribe Peralta to take it again. Oribe Peralta takes it, goal, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. It does mean we do get the 2-1 advantage that we were looking for. There you go right there. Oribe Peralta kissing and patting the badge. Showing his pride for these colors. And what better way for us to be winning. I mean, we want to keep this unbeaten streak going. And it's absolutely amazing. So I knew that once we had that goal, the third one could open up more. And it could mean that we were definitely looking at our fourth straight victory of the tournament. But like we know, things are not always as they seem. And for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know how, I kind of just kind of turned it off my switch. And I gave away this stupid, ridiculous penalty. It is absolutely horrific what I just did I don't know why I thought sliding in was the better option if I knew they would have obviously conceded the penalty and because of doing so they step up to the plate and they take the shot and they score and it is 2-2 with only six minutes left of the match so there wasn't much there wasn't much time at all to really reply and, you know, it, it was frustrating because, you know, we, we were definitely the better team in the second half. We deserved a little bit better. We deserved a little bit more. But as you guys see right here, it, it, it just did not go for us. Puebla in the end, you know, they got that second goal and they just parked the bus and they closed it. And they knew the point was, for them was worth more than it was for us. So in the end, we end up getting the 2-2 results, our first draw of the season. But it's nothing to be too scared of. I think it was just a lack of concentration. And in the end, you know, we, we just do better. But it doesn't mean that we have to end this video on a sour note. It does, with my great pleasure, uh, be able to show you guys that Giovanni Dos Santos has signed for us. So we get this huge signing that I think America actually lacked. In the Centenario. So now we have the likes of Sebastián Jovinko. And Giovanni Dos Santos. And on top of that. Osmar Mares looks like he's about to leave the club too. So obviously a player that. Uh, 
not a lot of Americanistas really favored in. So he's going to be going his way. And we're going to be ending the video here. But we do have the Clásico coming up next video. So it's going to be very interesting. Giovanni Santos is going to make his debut. Whether it's from the bench or whether he's starting, we'll have to wait and see. But I want to show you guys the table real quickly. See exactly where everyone and everything is. Chivas is exactly in eighth spot while we are in first. Uh, they're yet to lose a game and we're yet to lose a game either. So it's going to be an interesting game. See if, um, if one of us do get the result, who's going to lose their first game. And it's going to be a fun and entertaining match. So... Um, I'm excited for you uh, for for all of you guys to see that game and I'm excited to play it so um, yeah let me know exactly in the comment section down below do, are you guys enjoying the video are you guys enjoying the series what do you guys think of all this transfer shenanigans and let me know if you guys are excited too for the upcoming league I am so so I'm in the video here guys and until next time take care